let's start with why you decided to write this. What's the inspiration about this? A, a lot of people were hitting me up saying, you got to write a book to help people. And I finally realized what my journey was about. And moments before my daughter was born, which this was just like six months ago, mm -hmm. I realized it was time for me to sit down with my dad. Uh, my dad murdered my mom when I was 12. Uh, I went into a temporary foster situation for a year before my Aunt Susan adopted me, intense therapy. And my life's been about trying to find happiness and trying to find forgiveness for me. And for a long time, I thought forgiveness was about winning and losing. I thought it meant that, hey, one up, we're good, score is even. I agree with what you did and we can still be buddies. And then before my daughter was born, I realized that I need to find motivation in the worst thing that ever happened to me to motivate change, to become a better father and a better husband than I, I even thought I could. So I went and I sat down with my dad for the first time in 26 years. No kidding. Had lunch with him. Where? Uh, up in Washington State. Is that where he, he? Yeah, that's where he lives. He's is he out of? He's out of. Yeah, so prison? he's been out longer than he was in. So in, in Washington at the time, second degree murder, max penalty was 13 years. So he was sentenced to 13, second degree murder, served 11. So he'd been out longer than he was in. And for me, what I realized is forgiveness. I just redefined what it means. It means coming to terms with my reality, coming to terms with my peace and getting rid of hate and clutter and having somebody that's no longer in my life have any effect on my life whatsoever. So I didn't need validation. I didn't need answers. I didn't need stories or excuses. In fact, it was nothing to do with him. So I went and I sat down with him to look at him and to feel that entire time of my life all over again, to realize what the relationship of a father son should be and could have been and take all that negativity and realize that that's the exact opposite of what I'm gonna be for my daughter. Wow. And I, and I wrote about it. And so for me, having lunch with my dad is symbolic of a relationship that was betrayal and hurt and turning that into motivation. And so the, the dedication in the book, mm -hmm. it says to my, ba my baby girl, Maya, may you always have lunch with your daddy. And that means far more than just sitting down and damn, having lunch. Damn it's, straight. Yeah. And as you know, you have a daughter and we were just talking about it. It changed my life, and I don't ever want to even remember my life before my little girl and before I met my wife, and it's uh, the ultimate joy. It's true. People without kids mm -hmm. feel bad for people with kids, and then people with kids feel bad for people without kids mm -hmm. because there's a joy and a love that you just can't, you can't explain. And as you know, your little girl, you were talking about the Monday Night Football and just sitting watching. Yeah, and, and she's writing a note and <laughs> makes me complicit in writing a note about how I stink. Uh, but no, I mean— and. and but the, the bond, obviously, uh, between parent and child yeah. is is something that is usually unshakable, unbreakable. What is your relationship with your dad now? Do you have one at all? No, or? you know, because I, I realized that that journey for me to go see him wasn't about that. Okay. It was about me finding peace and me finding motivation to be a better dad. And the reason I went to go see him was to relive that. And, you know, part was curiosity and I'd been thinking about seeing him for a long time, but there was nothing in my life that actually stemmed action. Mm -hmm. And then moments, it was weeks before my daughter was born, I looked at my wife and said, it's time. Gotta do it. I gotta do it, now's the time. And what'd your wife say? Uh, she was all, all for it. Uh -huh. And she's like, hey, I support you, and do you want me there? And I said, this is something I just wanna, right. I just wanna do alone. And partly because I wanted a few days just to process. And, and it took months, like literally, I had a new emotion all day, every day for months of about course. what that was and what that meant. And, it was intense, so I write about, I write about it in the book, and and what's really cool is when I reflect on it, it's it's things I learned in sports and family, and and how I prepared to go meet my dad, ironically was was the disciplines I learned throughout all my coaches and how to stay on track and and how to achieve something and how to have discipline and process and uh, I literally treated it like a game plan, which I know sounds corny. No, I mean, but but it worked. Well, it's a way that you've you've, I guess, handled your business for, yeah. for most of your life. So you, sometimes you go with what you know, and that also means about emotions too, man. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. and it, that's, that's why it's so tough to go in a different direction. Yeah. And, you know? and I realized that uh, I, I read a quote that if it's not, you know, if it's easy, you ain't growing. And so I wanted to take the road less traveled. I, we know people that wanted to meet their fathers or mothers that were estranged and then they either passed away or they just never did. Right. And so I wanted to take the road less traveled and, and I didn't think I'd have any regrets doing it. I knew it would be hard and emotional and it was, um, and it was super intense, but Hey, if it's easy, you're not growing. So take the hard road and, and find happiness, whatever you got to do. And if there's anybody who's hearing this or watching this, that this sounds similar to something you've done, been through or know somebody, or it's any way, shape or form can be used to help out your life, Life is Magic, my inspiring journey from tragedy to self-discovery. John Darnboss, and there you are with a deck of cards. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.